Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here today on another Reimagine Scraps uh, in that series and we are going to work with number 10 envelopes today and um, work with some paper scraps to embellish them and make them journal worthy. So uh, first of all, I want to say hi and hugs to all the wonderful ladies that ran over to my Etsy yesterday and ordered the napkins that I put on there. Oh my gosh, it, they just went like that. And so I have lots of Etsy orders to fulfill today. So I thought I'd get this video going and maybe could upload it while I'm while I'm doing those orders. But first thing I wanted to do is I finished off some of the Edith Holden um ephemera and I just wanted to show you a little show and tell here so this was the you'll remember the side pocket or belly band that we sewed around and it just had an empty space up here so I just put some Edith Holden paper and a little word that was on a scrap of uh, uh coffee dyed file folder you can see this is the this is kind of the edge and this is the part of the file folder that has all the scorings in it but so it's not good to use for anything else really, but um, I went ahead and just popped a little word on there. So that was that one. Uh, this, this one, I think I did this after the video actually. It was uh, one of these, one of the book page tags that we made a couple episodes ago. And I just put coffee dyed paper on the back and then I used some of this awesome tissue. Where is it? This awesome tissue that I got at uh, Truly All Supplies. Covered the whole back of the tag and then put some Edith Holden pieces on there and a little topper. And I love it. I love how that one came out. And this one was the one that we had finished, I know, in, the, um, in that episode. And I just put some of this lace from Ooh La La Crafts on the bottom and I really feel like that finished it off. So there was that and then of course we did these two. Uh, I wanted to show you, you know, I wasn't I wasn't gluing down my washi and that's what happened. So I need to go back and glue those washies down with some Uhu glue, but then we did the index card and this Rolodex card too. So anyway, that that is what I what little bit I did to continue to add to those so okay let's get started on number 10 envelopes now I will tell you if you want to giggle <laughs> I uh, I have a an old old video on my ideas with these number 10 envelopes we had changed the logo where I worked and I have I have a thousand of these. I have two boxes of number 10 envelopes. So um, slowly but surely using them up. But uh, anyway, I want, I just, I just wanted to, um, to, to tell you that that video, it's funny cause it's old and you know, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Not that I do now, but you know, even less back then. So anyway, it's pretty funny if you, I think if you search number 10 envelope and maybe idea or something, it should come up anyway. Let's, let's get started. So I've pulled all these out of my little idea um, journal and we're just gonna, we're just gonna start making some and get the bases ready and then we'll use scraps to cover them. Um, as you can see on these, I used book page to, to cover these. This one, a little couple scraps of scrapbook paper. So I'll just show you how to make each one maybe and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna push my sewing machine back a bit, give us a little extra room. And so the first, the first thing is um, either a belly band or a tuck and super simple, super simple. All it is is folding the envelope with the flap out and folding it long ways, like so. Let's see, um, I feel like, you know what? I'm gonna use Edith Holden as a background cause I kinda feel like this blends right into the table. 
so you can see that's that's all it is and then this is cut I think probably nine inches or, or eight inches or something to fit the well this one's cut to fit the journal that I had it in so what I would do is just go ahead and um, cover this and then uh, and then you can cut it to the to whatever length you want so what's nice about it is on your page I do I did grab a piece of coffee dyed paper so on your page of course we would have left this a bit longer to go to the top because see you've got this whole envelope to work with so um, and then you can glue it on the three edges and you've got a pocket here and you've also got a tuck under the flap too so you can kind of double double tuck if you will and um, on all of these I sewed around and you could either sew or you could glue I think there's one here that I did not sew around so you could sew or glue you don't have to have a sewing machine so that's one idea you could also use it as a belly band tuck something underneath just glue at the top and the bottom and then you still have that little tuck there so that's the first idea so I'm gonna set those aside and we'll cover them here as we go okay set that one aside then we've got we've got this one which is um, <clears throat> so you can see I use the same envelope so I folded it in half like so with the flap on the inside this time flap on the inside there we go and then um, and then what I did was just fold down a little flap more or less decorative I would say and then I just covered it and um, and I will say on this one, uh, on these, uh, you're gonna wanna put your papers on and distress ink them before you sew them. You know, uh, you probably knew that, but I'll say it anyway. So um, I, I now would go back and with this one, I would actually, I would glue this. I wouldn't let that flop. I guess maybe I was thinking it was extra journaling space, but I don't like it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue that down. <laughs> you know, if it's bugging me, I just gotta fix it. Okay, so, so yeah, then it's just got a little flap. So you're gonna sew, you're gonna sew your paper onto your flap, and then you're gonna sew these three sides, which we will decorate and do that in a minute. So that's that's another sort of use. Okay, so here's one. This one has a little book page um tag in it so this one i just took let's see which side i'm just gonna go like this okay so the flap is here there's the flap and we just went up like so and made a pocket but um, but kind of the fun thing about having that flap is let me see I thought I had yeah got some got some little tags up here that will work to show you so you could like tuck a little tag or something in there and then have your other pocket or maybe uh, Um, maybe a little bigger tag than that one that sticks out the top and then you have you know so you can play with the flap is I guess my point okay so anyway so there's that one and it's just sewn around the three edges um, okay so that's that one and then this one I 
I've got a little Christmas tag in that one. I guess they kept that as an idea. Okay, so, so this one is just the opposite. The last one we folded up like this to have the flap here. This one we're going to turn it over and have the flap on the outside like so. So, you know, and you could just, you can make these, like I've got this pocket going up higher. You could actually make this with the pocket down low like this and just have it a little bit longer on your page either way right either way so then this one once again you sew around here and then you've got a place for your tag here and depending on how you put this on the page you can either have a tuck here or here depending where you glue right and then on this side you've got actually you've got the flap and you've got the the book page paper too so you could put a little something like that in it so that is that one right that's a fun one okay and then what else do we have oh this is a funky one i need to remember how i did this <laughs> I feel like this this one is two envelopes so I was trying to make extra tucks so see there's a tuck down here and then the flap there so let's see if I can remember how I did this okay so we'll fold it up this way and then I think what I all I did All I did, I think, was take another envelope and go down inside, like so, like that. And then I must have just cut it off because it doesn't look. Hmm. That's what I think I did is just cut it off because it'd make it too bulky otherwise. So let's just cut this. Yeah, and then we've got a flap here and a flap here. So you have a little tuck spot here and a tuck spot there. Again, sewed around it. Okay, so that's another idea. And then, oh, and then this one, I got to show you on the book page. This one, here's your, here's your number 10 envelope, right? I just covered it all. And then with this one, I just was tucking them at the bottom of the page like this. Um, now you could, you could glue it here along the bottom and here. And, um, and that's kind of, that's kind of what I was doing. And then your, then your tag, you know, you've got a pocket there, but you've also got little pockets down here that you can put some tags into on both sides of your page, which is kind of cool. So, so this one's tough. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to follow along on this one. <laughs> so you take your envelope and you fold it in half. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> So actually the tricky part is, is, um, is covering it. And so I'll show you a, a trick that I have for that, but yeah, that's a, that's a pretty straightforward one, but I like how it is on a page. It's pretty fun. And then this one is once again, just taking your envelope and I covered on this one, I covered it on both sides just to just so that it would be, um, I didn't want to glue it on the page. I wanted it as a floating pocket. So, so there's that. Okay. But this one, um, we are going to go here. Like so I'm just, just folding without really looking. And then, um, I'm going to along the top, 
I'm just going to cut a tiny, tiny bit off of there. And all that's going to do is open up the envelope. And then I'm going to make it into a kind of a tag shape. I'm just going to use the turn the corner over method there. Okay. So, and then, and then you just fold down the flap. Actually, I'm going to just fold down the flap. I'm going to adjust my pocket slightly like this. Now you could cover this so that this can be a tuck spot again. I just, I just went ahead and covered it with, with paper and all the way around. So, so yeah, so there is that one. So let's get to decorating. I've get, given you all the base ideas and we'll just, I'll just remind you which one it is as we go along here. Okay, so I've got, I've got scraps. <laughs> I've got scraps to work with here. And um, as well, I might use a little Edith Holden. I might use, I might actually use some paper that I have for the uh, A Winter's Tale that I'm going to do next. So let's get these envelopes out of the way for a minute because we've already folded all of our, all of our envelopes. Let's do, let's just do, um, where is the one? Let's do this one that's just just goes around our page, right? Because I want to show you an easy way to um, to cut your cut your pages. Okay, so I need a bigger piece of paper for this one. How about let's let's use let's use this scrap on this one. How about? Okay, so to cover the flap. What I do is take my piece of paper, slide it under the flap of the envelope, and just take a pencil and trace the flap. Like so. And then I cut on the inside the, the inside or flap side of my marking. And then that way it leaves a little bit of an edge. I mean, I've got this to follow, but it leaves a little bit of an edge for inking. And it should, see it will just fit that flap perfectly. I didn't leave a whole lot for inking, but that's okay. So there you have that. I think what I'll do for the rest of it Oh look, I created a smaller scrap. <laughs> that's how that's what happens. Okay, and so See, do I want that? I want to decide which way I want this. I guess, I guess that's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, so I am going to leave just a little bit because I do want to ink it a little bit. So, and then I think I'll just make a mark on this side where I want to cut it, and then a mark on this side where I want to cut it. We'll give a little bit of room there. Okay, so let's get the cutter. And oops, slipped on me a little bit. Okay, and so then this will be here. The 
and this will be here and then we'll fold it in half now the one that I did you know so I think what I'm gonna do is just gonna put some glue kind of in the middle here and then Pop that on here. And then the flap, now this is double-sided paper, so I could actually go this way if I wanted, or I can go this way. Which way do I like it better? I kinda, now that I say that, I kinda like it this way. I do, okay, so I guess decide which side you want up, before you do your gluing. Now I don't need a lot on that edge because that edge is gonna be um, sewn, but I am gonna go down the middle and kind of right to the edge too. You could leave the top edge open if you wanted because then you would have a double, a double pocket. So it's just kind of, it's kind of playing with it and deciding what you like and and that kind of thing so okay let's then we're just gonna make sure this is in camera and I am just going to take this around the edge and I am going to back stitch a little bit because it is going to be a uh, pocket and so Things will be coming in and out of it, you know. Okay. Alrighty then, first one done. What's so kind of nice about using these number 10 envelopes is it's like you've got your base. Now I didn't do what I told you to do, which is ink this first, but we can go back and ink this easily enough because this flap will come up, but I don't want to take time to do it. I want to move on to the next one because I can do that off camera, but let's Let's look here. So on our page, this is gonna be like this. And I'm gonna glue here and here and here and here and have pockets on both sides of my page. So number one, done. Just needs to be inked. Okay, let's let's pick another one. Let's see. Um, I think I wanna just do I want to just do this rather plain one because I have some scraps. What do I do with them? Here they are that I wanted to use. These are some Stamperia. I wanted to see if I could, I think I can use these scraps on this because see this side, you're going to have the, the flap. I guess I'd want to go this way so the pattern shows better. And actually, you only have to use just to go down so that it, it goes down in the pocket so you can't see that. And um, this could have been a little wider. It could have been maybe a half inch wider, but that's okay because I'll distress that and it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. I just, so I can just use this scrap and a little cut right there okay so that one's gonna go here like so 
And then what I'm thinking is I'd like to go sideways if it's tall enough. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. It's perfect. So go sideways here. Give that a little cut. And then we just have to figure out our flap, what we, what we would like to do with that. Which this little piece of paper is gonna work just great. Okay, so then I'm just gonna cover this like so. Oh my gosh, that Stamperia paper is so pretty. It's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pieces off for a second. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other one. And I'm just going to put this in as far as I think it needs to go, which is right about there. And I'm just going to draw the flap again with my pencil. And then I'm going to cut it here. I'm kind of cutting this one right on the pencil line because I really want as much of the pattern as possible. And this is double sided, so I'm gonna to have to decide again which way I want it. But let's let's put it back together and decide here. So that one's there, this one's here, and then do we like it like so? Or do we want, oh, that won't work this time because we don't have the other side. So never mind, it has to go this way, which is okay because I think that's the way I would have liked it best anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, I am going to, I just had a thought. I think I'm going to put this on by gluing like this because then that makes another pocket. Which, of course, you don't have to use, but it gives you another option if you want. So I kind of like that idea. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, let's have a little cleanup on all four. <laughs> okay, try that again. Try that again. So excited that I <laughs> dropped it. Okay, now we'll try it. Okay, so I'm going to get it as far over to this edge as I want and then... I'm going to go down from the top just a little bit. Okay, and then this one. Uh, you know, we could do the same thing. Let's. We'll just make this a pocket too, and that gives us options. Okay. That one down. Okay, and then this one I'm going to glue all the way around. further. Okay. All right. This one, I am going to take a quick second and do a little um, inking, especially on here, because that's going to be really hard to do after, after sewing. So, um, so just because this way you can open up the flap and go around, you know, so it just makes it easier. You guys, I'm, I wanted to buy some new vintage photo yesterday. You are not going to believe this. Hobby Lobby does not have distress ink. Like my Hobby Lobby 
had zero distress ink. Had a bunch of distress oxides, but no distress ink. So I'm like, what the heck is, are we going to not have distress ink anymore and just have distress oxide? I don't know. But I went on line and on Etsy and went to September Playground and she had finished photo distress ink. And it's like, what? And, oh, and I went to Joanne's and they didn't have it either. That's what made me think, is he getting out of that or something? I don't know. I don't know. Can't keep up with this craft supply world. <laughs> okay, so then this one, we're going to sew down here and across, okay? And you could use a zigzag if you wanted. Um, I'm going to use a straight stitch just to make my pockets bigger. But you could whatever your little creative self says to you go with that it does get a little thick at the bottom but once you sew it it really squashes it down so that's good it makes it much flatter in your journal That's pretty. I uh, like it. Okay. So let me get this up here to the camera for you. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let me grab my little examples here. What do I do with my tiny ones? Okay, guys. I don't know what happened to my tiny my tiny little ones. I don't know. I don't know where they went. Oh, I put them up here. I put them up here so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> so anyway, now you've got a pocket here. You've got a pocket here behind the paper and a pocket here behind the envelope. And then you've got your little, your little, um, flap opening too so and then when you put it on your on your page as a pocket and if you glue it around this way you've got a pocket back there too so and if you wanted you could put it I don't know put it right here and glue this way and then tuck a little, you know, uh, index card with some lace on it or something under there. I'm going to keep my examples up there. <laughs> so love that one. So happy with that one. Okay, let's do, um, let's maybe do this one. This one is like this one except that the flap is at the bottom instead of up here so yeah if if as we're doing this we're like oh how'd she make that go back to the beginning and you'll see the folds and which way we fold and stuff but this one we're just taking the envelope and folding it flap to the outside um i am going to take liberties with my reimagined scraps there will be scraps with this I want to use some of this because this is the um, paper that I'm going to use for a winter's tale. This is some of that. And I thought, why not make a pocket? Granted, I if that is the giveaway winner's choice, I'm going to make a whole video series on it. But that's all right. We'll just go back to this and I'll just say, remember when we made this? <laughs> the number 10 envelopes video. Let's see, so I just want it slightly smaller. So I'm gonna give that a cut. Oh, I'm having so much fun and I have to get 
myself busy on those Etsy orders, but that's all right. We're just gonna, we're gonna do a few of these. Let's see, where are we? Yep, 35. I usually end up looking at the clock and it's about a half an hour usually. <laughs> okay, so I go right about there. That should work. The one nice thing about, you know, this is my digital print from Marty Mays, the A Winter's Tale. And I just did these on copy paper, just regular copy paper, um, because, you know, they're going to be a pocket. They're, a lot of it's going to be covered up and whatever, so I didn't use my good paper. But also, um, the other thing about it is it'll make these um, pockets a little bit thinner. I'm just putting some in the middle and I'm gonna go along the top as well because this is paper's too thin to be a pocket really like we did on the last one. So we'll get that kind of just centered up there. Good, good, good. Okay, and so then this is the right width because we've already cut that right. I think we're gonna get this whole envelope out of this one piece of paper. So, this one little strip, which is about, I would say it's about four inches wide, which is, I think, that makes sense, because I think a number 10 envelope is four inches. Okay, then we've got that little piece for the flap, I do believe. So then we're going to stick this one in here, like so. Oh my gosh, so fun. I, I really do like making these. And I'm really glad I did this series because I haven't made some in a while, you know? You just kind of move on to other ideas and sometimes you forget some of your some of your most favorite things. So I'm gonna unfold this just to make this easy to set down and make sure that we're, yeah, make sure that we're even, she says, as she puts it on unevenly. Okay, oops. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And then, once again, I'm going to take this and just put that in there and trace around it. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this. So hopefully you're getting the idea, and um, if we don't get all of these made at least you've got an idea about especially how to um how to cut the paper to go over the flap okay let's glue this one completely down once again Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put my pin and my glue and we're gonna distress this a little before we sew it. And this one, I felt like really needed no other decoration. One could do maybe something right here if, if they wanted, but I'm gonna leave that until I actually have a use for that and kind of decide what the book looks like that I'm using it on, you know? Um, but this one, 
I want to put something right there and I think that I have something from the Artie Mays kit that will work. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I knew it was coming, but I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Okay, ooh, that looks yummy all inked up. I love it. Okay, so then let's pull over Mr. Sewing Machine. And we are, I'm actually gonna sew around this whole thing on the outsides, you know? So I'm gonna start at the bottom here. And Find my foot pedal, here we go. It's a little thick there where the flap is, but that's okay. My handy dandy sewing machine is awesome. Just handles it. And then it gets thinner when you get up here to just the one thickness. Maybe one more. Okay. All right, there's that one. All right, so I wanted to kind of look quick here and see. I know I had some fun. Gosh, I've got such a pile collected for this Artie Mays journal that, um, well, there's this guy. Squirrel's kind of cute. This tail in there is me. <laughs> it's cute, but let's I just need to play a little bit more if so bear with me. Because there was these two. These medallion type things. So there's a squirrel on the medallion. Or the house. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that house. I like the bigger circle, too. It's bigger than that, isn't it? Maybe not. Yep, it is. A little bit. Yeah, I think that's it. I like the house. Okay, so... I think I'm just going to... I'm going to ink around that a little bit, and we're going to go with it. Ooh, that makes it even show up better. Okay, so... the edges okay so that's that but then I'm thinking I'd also like uh, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday my friend Catherine and I had lunch and I went to Hobby Lobby and they had their um, laces that are on the, you know, the square things. The, the laces by yard, I guess they call them. I don't know. 
on sale and they had a couple that were like at the end of their bolt and I always need this thin kind of lace. I was trying for one of the smaller pieces and of course I got the longest piece. Okay, there we go. Well, we'll put you back in the bag. I have, I'm going to put some of that on a spool, I think is what I'm going to do. There it is. There's, there's the smaller one. Yeah, it was in bits and pieces. And so I was like, you know, I think this at 50% off was like a dollar a yard. And so I was like, you know, I'll just take what you have left. And it was like, all that lace was like five or six dollars. It was awesome. Okay. And I'm just always looking for this little lace. I always use up my tattered dream like quick. And, and so I was thinking about putting some lace on the flap was my, was my thought. I think I will. I think I'll put that on the flap. And in the flap, I, I have a, a notion as well to put it up here. Which is really pretty. Granted, of course, if it's a short tag, it would show. I think I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, I think so. There we go. It's that way. Okay. See if I can use my Fabri-Tac without messing up my nails. Still haven't done the acetate. Somebody asked me to, if I, or acetone, uh, if I do that to share it on camera, I'll, I, I'll do that. I'm sure there's a bit of a, a mix of how much acetone to put in, but I don't know. It will be an experiment. <laughs> kind of want that dark edge at the top to show. So I'm going to do that. coming out a little bit better today than it did yesterday so maybe maybe I'm past the point of whatever let's see okay put that down to the bottom to make sure it's straight there and then I'm going to just cut it off to go with the curve of the, of the flap here. Okay. So there's that one. You might never know that that was a number 10 envelope, huh? Okay. So there's that one. Let's see. Let's do, which one should we do? Maybe we'll do this one because it's funky because it's got the two flaps. Um, I think I might just use these scraps again because, first of all, they were cut the right size to begin with, which is kind of nice. Maybe we'll use this one this time. I kind of like that for here. Yeah, I do. I like that for here. So let's do that. And see how we see how we do with this one. Okay. So that is going to be That is going to be here is where that's going to be because we don't need to do this one. But what we're going to do is not glue that. And so we have another pocket up there. So it'll be a double pocket. Yeah. Okay. Talking through this, talking through this. How do I want this so that the pink shows? Okay. And 
yeah. Okay, and then I was thinking, what about doing that border kind of at the top? Which would mean I need to cut it about so hard to use the um the stamp area papers <laughs> i love them so much but then it's like hard to cut them up and use them i've been hoarding these scraps for sure but it's like they don't do any good sitting in my box other than i like to look at them might as well use them in a journal right okay so but we can use, we can save the bottom part i think so how far down do we need to go? Hmm. I don't know if I can save it, but I'm going to try to save those most of those roses. Yeah, that's still a real pretty piece. <laughs> Okay, so what if we put that at the top? We've got that there. Get you all the way in there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to Okay, I just had an idea. I think I am going to take my little hole punch and I'm going to make a little hole here because we could make this a pocket too, but I want it to show that it's a pocket. You know, I get going on these and, and I think you will too. I get going on them and then I have more and more ideas. So... I hope that happens with you too and you can, I'm going to darken that up because when this is on there, I want that to be dark. Okay. Okay. So I actually feel like I need to take ever such a slight little bit off the bottom here. And so I'm going to quit fighting with it and I'm just going to do it. Okay. So that is going to be here which is going to be in there. Okay. Okay. So let's put that on, get that part on. So we're having a little dinner out tonight. My husband's school district has their administrators they do, instead of a Christmas party, they do it after the new year just because it's so crazy at the end of the school year for everyone. Um, and they invited my husband, even though he retired last June. So that was super nice. Okay. All right, so then Okay, we got that. We got that. Let's do this up at the top. Ooh, it's so pretty on this side too. Goodness. Decisions, decisions. Hmm, I think I'm going to do the other side just because we already did one with this pattern. So let's do this one just for fun. Okay. Yes. Like it. Okay. And then that is going to go with that. Okay. I want to, I think I want to distress this top here because if it's going to be a pocket it'll kind of show 
Okay. Then we need to figure out the rest of our papers, which are just the two flaps, right? So I'm wondering, that's not quite big enough for that, but it would be for this one, I think. Let's see, what would I do? Go like this. Okay. You know, the nice thing about doing videos is I feel the need to keep moving. And so um, I don't take forever to make a decision. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would take forever. Pretty pattern on the back too. It's just hard to decide sometimes which side of the stamp period I use because it is gorgeous, all of it. So I'm going to go clear to the edge here because the inner part of that's not going to show. So that's going to go in there like that. Okay, and so on this side, what do we want on that side? Ah, not that. <laughs> That's just too many. Let's let's do this. Okay, and then I want this to be this way. I think so. Okay. This is kind of awkward, but I'm wanting that certain pattern, so going with that. I will throw this piece away. coordination issue. Hold that really steady. Yeah, the trick is really to use those flaps though as sort of templates for your cutting. That really makes a big difference. I think that's going to be pretty. I think I might have to trim off the bottom slightly here. Okay, this one's going on. in here which goes there so I need to do a little distressing before sewing because these are going to be pressed down pretty well by the time we do our okay okay so that goes into there this edge, we need to do this edge, and we've got it. Okay, so let's sew around this, and again, I think I'm going to just 
I'm going to go all the way around on this one too. Now it's going to be thick down here at the bottom and probably my glue's not as dry as it should be, but we're going to go for it anyway. I might add some more distressing depending on if any white is showing, but I think we're okay for now. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's going to sew just fine. Just taking it slow down here where it's thick. Try not to tax my poor little machine too much. Okay. And up we go on this side. I know, I know. Okay, we're to thin part. is not perfectly cut so I'm going to square that up a little bit and see where I might want a little more okay you guys well it's not perfect but I still love it so there's that one and we're going to just do a quick little show of what we've done. I'm seeing our time is running out. But so now we've got a little pocket here. We've got a pocket back here. And we've got our spot where we can we can tuck some little tags in. Like you could tuck one there and you can tuck one there or however, right? Put a couple in there and something else sticking out from here, whatever. So, okay, so we we got about half of them made. We didn't get we didn't get these for, but you see the um the the way you do it is just the same. So okay, so here's what we got done is these four. Let me hold them up again. This one. And this one, love those. Excited to use those in a shabby chic journal. Here's one for the winter's tail. So I'm going to put that with that stuff over here. And then this one for, for something. I still need to ink that one, but that's it. So there you have it. That's the number 10 envelopes. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it's helpful. It's, it's just another way to recycle envelopes and use up some of your scraps to decorate. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.